the book Dragon Slayer. sound. Are the bees awake? Oh. Oh, it's your magic. In the house? Ah, okay. I understand. I'm sorry. I've never heard that before, but thank you so much for bringing me to life. I I didn't think I, I would ever be alive. I'd, I'd heard you talk about other uh, other non-living things brought back to life, but I didn't think it would ever happen to me. I, I promise I'll work hard and I won't let you down. I'll make you extremely proud. I promise. Huh? My name? My name? I don't know. I've never been given a name before. When... When people came to you for, for medicines and such, they just called me Scarecrow. Would, would that be a name? No? It's not a, a name? Well, alright. with any sort of name, so long as it's not too long, or too short, or too, too fancy. I'm not really a fancy type of person. <laughs> I'm made out of burlap and, and sticks. Remember? You, you made me. Hmm? Koira? Koira. Koira. <laughs> I, I, I like that name. Is... Is that my name? <laughs> then Koira I shall be called. And I promise that I'll be worthy of the name. I'll, I'll try to at least. Um, what would you like me to do first? Er, actually... Now that I think about it, um, why did you bring me to life? I, again, I, I hear a lot of things. I heard a lot of things even when I wasn't alive. But, um, I heard some people say that they used, like, their alive things as sort of helping hands. Um, I, I could definitely help around the house if you wanted me to, um, I could, um, I could pick apples off the trees, I could um, rake up the leaves, I could scare the crows out of the field, um, I could, uh, th um, throw rocks to get rid of in any spirits, like this. <laughs> okay, so... Every time I throw, it just, you know, costs me a hand, but hands go around on trees here. <laughs> Thank you.
go? You brought me to life because you were lonely? Well, what about your familiar? Oh, you wanted human companionship? And if you tried going to the village, then... Oh. Oh. I just assumed you liked the forest, and you wanted to have space to grow a nice orchard. But... I guess I can understand, but... What about what your cousin said? Mm-hmm. Your cousin from the city. They said that there's a thing called the interspecies exchange bill. It applies here as well. Well then, why don't you meet with other people? Hmm. Well, I... I want to do something for you in return, and I want to make you happy, and I wonder what that sound was, hmm, maybe dragonflies, hmm, I don't know, but I want to make you happy, and maybe you could find some fellow magic users. Maybe like a witch? Or a warlock or a sorcerer? Maybe. Hmm? What do I want? Well... I don't know. Um... I sometimes listen to the music that you would play from your house. That music was always good. Oh! That reminds me! Now I remember, since I'm alive now, I've always wanted to ask you, what was that song you hummed? You know, singing without words. What was the, the melody? The song sounds like this. That song. Oh, it was a love song you were writing. Well, it sounded really pretty. Can I hear the whole thing, please? Oh, you didn't finish it? Why not? You're family visited and said that you ought to give up music and dance? Well, why? If it makes you happy, then you should do it. And it's not hurting anyone. Honestly, when I was scaring things away in, in the field, I, I liked listening to, to your singing. I couldn't see you dancing, but I heard the sound of your voice. You sounded so happy when you were dancing. I think you ought to do things that make you happy, and... Since dancing made you happy, I... I... I guess if I had to choose one thing or one desire. I, I'd like it if you could teach me how to dance. And maybe we could help each other out. Because I don't know much about, about things. Only what I've heard from being unalive, but I'm willing to learn if you'll just teach me. And maybe we could find an a witch, or a sorcerer, or a magician, or someone, and 
I, I don't know, maybe we could all have tea together. I... I don't want you to be alone anymore. And you've been so kind to me. And you've brought me to life. I know, I know you probably are tired of hearing me saying it, but I want to do something for you. As a way of saying thank you. For... For, for everything, I suppose. For making me, for bringing me to life, and for keeping me, I suppose, and taking care of me, and replacing my, my sticks when they fell, and such. I want to thank you for that. So, if it were all possible, could you teach me how to dance? You will? That makes me so happy, thank you. I promise I'll do my best to be a good student. Not tonight, though. That's understandable. Um, if you need to go to bed, then you should go to bed. I can... I can hang up. I can hang myself up on my stick and sleep outside. Hmm? Follow you inside the house? Okay then, lead the way, my human, my, my master, my friend, alright, lead the way, my friend.